What's up everyone? This is Ronnie coming to you today with a sales video. I highlighted basically 14 things that we saw last month. I mean, sold last in the last week or so. And just some interesting things. There's some things I want to hit on. And uh, that's about it. We'll get into it in a minute. But make sure if you want to get more of these videos in the future, make sure you subscribe down below and also hit the bell notification button. Um, oh, I'm actually live. I didn't notice I did that. Let's check out the chat real quick. Anybody hear me okay? What's up, Wes? All right. Seems to be everything I believe is okay. Nobody's shouting, nobody's yelling. Um, all right, sounds good. We'll get into it and I'll answer any questions at the end of the video. It shouldn't be too long, but uh, let's get into it. All right, here we go. This is um. Uh, item we've sold a bunch of these in the past. I believe I picked up somewhere around 15 to 20 of these at a yard sale. It's coming up on about a year and a half. No, probably more than that. Uh, probably more than that because it was almost about two years ago. It was in May, June ish. We went to New York City and then we went to Long Island, hung out, and uh. Went yard sale with my boy Rudy and picked up a bunch of these at a yard sale. There must have been, like I said, 15 or 20. He wanted, I think, $5 a piece. I got them all for 40 bucks, maybe. And they were just these vintage uh, Steve Austin, uh, like tank tops. They're size medium, large, which is odd. But, uh, I sell one of these every for like four to six weeks. I think we, like I said, we were into them for maybe two dollars a piece, two fifty maybe. This one I took a best offer, thirty dollars. They're from nineteen ninety nine, so uh, they are vintage. These, this would have been done. This would have done better if it was a t shirt. But I mean, anytime I can turn two dollars into um. 30, you know, pretty easily. I like that. All right, this was a Canali. This is like a wool, what they call a hop sack material. It's like a woven wool. It's a size 50 regular. It's pretty good. But it had some holes in the back of the jacket. I did not notice them when I first picked it up. This was there on a half off day. That's why it was there on a half off day. It's all it was black too, which is kind of odd for just a suit jacket. But uh, there's the brand Canali, pretty good brand. And uh, you'll see these tags. These are just the tags of the department stores they got them at, or that's a big uh, store over in Greenwich, Connecticut. But there you go. There's your inner side tag fifty. Drop seven regular, so only sixty. Use European size. Take ten off. You get the American size. So there's the holes right there. It was not bad. I mean, this sold pretty quickly. Actually, this sold in about a week's time for full price of fifty bucks plus tender ship. So I was happy with that. Anytime you could sell something fairly quickly, you like it. This is not a brand I pick up usually at all. This is an Allen Flusher, Flusher, something like that. It's a seersucker material. Seersucker material uh, jackets and or suits do very well for me when I pick them up. These are more a summertime. Uh, they're of a textured material. They're blue and white. You'll see other colors, but majority of it is blue and white. They're usually brighter colors. I had picked up ones that are green and white, red and white. Uh, but there's the brand. Nothing really spectacular about this brand whatsoever. I got this for two fifty and a half off day. It sat for approximately, say, three months, but it did sell. I took a best offer at $32 plus another 10 to ship. 
So uh, these jackets sell well this time of year. Nice, light, you know, material. People will buy these. This was a pair of Zegna jeans. I sold these in about six hours of listing them for $40. And uh, that's what I was hoping to get for them. And I paid $6 for them. I found these in another pair of jeans that sold with less than a day. Also, there they go, Zegna jeans, $38.32. I, I, like I said, I found these last Thursday. I listed them Saturday and they sold. So always love it when that happens. This is a Ralph Lauren, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. This is another seersucker. Another both of those jackets, I believe, were 42 regular. Yeah, 42 regular, 42 regular. I had this one about two, three months. It's that time of year, I guess, where people just buy these. This look to never been worn. It was really nice. You can tell by the material and everything that inner tags were just clean. Once again, you got that textured. Blue and white stripe, cotton material. I mean, that's what makes it a seersucker. And uh, we took a best offer of this, a 45. And it's just one of those things. I just want to move something, so I was happy to move it, happy to get it out. I think I paid about 7 bucks for this one. So that's about it. Okay, Lonnie, I know you're in my chat. Do you want me to look back at the chat? All right, everybody. How you guys doing? How you doing, Lonnie? Swamp Picker, Rusty Raccoon. Da, da, da. The UK's in the house. How you guys all doing? All right, on to the next one. These are Prada women's shoes. I picked up two pair of these. I paid, I think, $14 a piece. <coughs> I had these for a little bit. They've been listed probably about three months. The wife actually wanted these. I thought we took them out of our inventory. We did not. We got the offer, and it was for $80 plus another seven to ship. And I was like, eh, yeah, they're going to be sold. Sorry, honey. They were like a patent leather. They look to have never been worn. Um, let me see here. Let me see the state still the sticker on the bottom. They were very clean shoes on the bottom. But uh, like I said, we took a best offer of eighty dollars on these. We're into them for fourteen. I'm a sucker for high end stuff. I will pay up occasionally. Um, my wife lost out on two pair of Prada shoes because they are her size. And a lot of times, like uh, these shoes right here, they'll be in European sizes. Instead of being lazy and just going to a Facebook group going, hey, what's a 39? Just go to the website and click on a pair of shoes, and then they have the size converter. Or if you deal with a lot of shoes, just print it out, put it on your wall, and it's pretty easy. Uh, here we go, a Joseph A. Bank suit. I've been selling a bunch of these Joseph A. Bank suits lately. I will pick them up if they're bigger sizes. This is a 54 regular. This has been, yeah, this has been in our inventory for well over a year. So this did take some time to sell. I took a best offer of $90 on this, $11 shipping, and it's nothing special. What sold this is the size 54 regular. It's an odd waist size being 41 waist. That is odd. 41.28. This must have went to George Costanza or something. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Nice suit. These are a pair of, I found these with the uh, Zegna jeans. I was in a small little church thrift store. Ran into a friend. I heard her say something about Brioni. You know, but there's too many people around, so I walked over later and seen these. These are six bucks. These sold within a day. Took a best offer of a hundred and ten dollars, and uh, just a pair of Brioni. First time I ever find Brioni pants. I mean, jeans. They were really nice. They had this really nice button here. Get the little B on the zipper. Brioni. They have Brioni on the waistband too, which makes it a little easier to uh, find it. Brioni on the back. A pair of Brioni pants. 
These retail for some big money, probably 500 bucks ish, maybe a little bit extra. But it was the first time, and they were gone pretty quickly. I love inseams that are at least 30 or better. I hate short inseams on anything. This is a pair of uh, some fabric. We got this at a state sale. I paid two bucks for this fabric. We sold it for 80 bucks. It's been listed for about. Uh, got this at a state sale in October, so it's been listed a little bit of time. I had some other fabric that we sold closer to. Well, for three hundred dollars, it was for Stefano Ricci. This one was more common, Royal Diamond Super One Twenties wool. I mean, hey, I'm a One Sixties wool. Sorry, it already gave me the. Uh, you know. Already told me what it was, the material, so I didn't have to do any burn tests or anything like that. And that was good. That was easy to ship, just slid. Through. It was heavier, so this shipped very well in a uh, regional A box, which works at a two pound weight. So that was good. This was a Brooks Brothers Men Cashmere Black and Red Check Sport Coat. This was really nice uh, jacket. Just a regular Brooks Brothers. It still had the um, buttons and the material, uh, like extra material in the pocket. It looked like it was never worn because a lot of these tags on the inside will get very ratted. And as they get dry clean, they get ratted up. You can see right there, 95% wool, a little bit of touch of cashmere at 5%. But you can kind of see the red check on this a little bit here. Really nice. Uh, jacket i liked it but i don't wear jackets and it's not really my size but it was a nice jacket nevertheless this site we sold for 110 dollars plus another 10 shipping really nice like it and uh we paid 10 dollars for that it's probably been listed approximately about two months two months or so this was a Johnson Woven Mills. This is a Buffalo plaid. This is a larger size, 50 long. Had the game pouch in the back, which runs across the back of the jacket there. Um, can't really see it, but there's snaps. So I guess you put your foul or duck or whatever you're looking for. And a zippered hood right there. This was a really, this is a really nice brand. It's similar to, uh, like, Pendleton and stuff like that. I picked up two of these. I paid 25, 20 or twenty-five dollars each. It's getting to that time of year where I kind of want to clean out some of the wool and some of the heavier jackets. If I get a good enough offer, they're out the door. I took it out for this at eighty-five. Like I said, good enough offer. Got to go. It's got to fly. Uh, there's no reason really to hold up and keep with it. What's up, Lauren? How you doing? Ramen Noodle Thrifter. Hey, that's a that's a new one. I like that. Tennessee Picker, how you doing? Dun, 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 dun. Garrison, how you doing, brother? Dun, dun. Okay, Lauren, that's a very specific uh thing you want me to look for for you. California, how you doing? If anybody has any questions on anything we sold, you can put it in the chat. No. If I just put some question marks in there or highlight it or something. There's only three more things here. This is a vintage. I've sold this actually twice, and I'm just thinking now that they did not pay for this. Um, they may pay. They may not. But um, we've sold this twice, both times actually for $120. I don't know what it is. Uh, this might not sell, though, but we'll talk about it a little bit. This is a vintage. It's like 80s. Uh, dead stock. Newer tags. Fila tracksuit. Two-piece. I do well with some Fila stuff. It has to be the vintage stuff. There's a little bit of a market for it. Fila right here. It's all white. We got Gretchen picked this up at a state sale that I went back to later that we got that fabric from and so many other pieces of clothing they actually threw this in for free i guess my wife was telling me but you can see the old tags here i mean these are 
some old tags. It's saying the regular original price was two forty eight, and uh, you know, it's it's interesting. And both of the times these sold to international buyers, like I said, we've. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna sell, but we'll see. But there's the pants. I've done pretty well with some vintage feelless stuff in the past, but uh, if this does not sell, you may see it again. But we took a best offer of 120 on it. Like I said, I've had it for a little while. We really weren't into it for anything, and uh, would love to see it go. It may be relisted again. As I forgot, this was. We sold this. The guy opened a return, and it was kind of funny the return he opened on this um, because he said it, it wouldn't it fits his nine year old kid that there were stains in it, and it's like okay, I put those some stains on this and pointed them out, and he said there was a smell to it, and I'm like okay, it's it is a you know 35 year old shirt or so, so this is a Grateful Dead tour shirt. This is what they call a jersey shirt with the longer um, arms that go like halfway up your forearm-ish. I mean, it is, I put the measurements in there and everything like that. This is of uh, that polyester and cotton blend, 50-50. See the stains right there. There's the tag, nothing special. doesn't have a date on it, but it just says Grateful Dead World Tour. It has this, that funny Joker-looking guide on the back it has a motorcycle with a skeleton and usa and bats flying and uh it's kind of funny definitely an 80s style shirt this was my i got these from my brother i picked up like six of them or seven of them from my brother you know he wanted me to throw him a number i threw him 75 bucks we've only sold one of the concert shirts i still have a few of the others listed he works for a company that kind of actually uh, does architectural salvage and they tear down a lot of buildings and stuff like that. And they actually found, he found a bunch of these in the building and was using them to change his oil. So I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure how many he had because he did say he left some behind, but I wound up buying them all that he had left from him, gave him an offer and he actually took it. Um, because he probably used these for oil. I saved them. This is probably not. I mean, they closed a the return on this, actually. So kind of interesting. But I did take a best offer of 175 on this. And it has been listed for a while. It's probably been listed about nine months. Concert shirts, the older ones, they either sell really fast. Because we sold one right out the gate really fast for, like, I want to say it was 150 to 180 somewhere in that price range. I don't remember. And it went to someone that went to that specific tour and specific because uh, it was for San Francisco. And they went there, and it was pretty cool. And that was it. But uh, pretty cool. People buy these because they remember it. I don't think they uh, – maybe they do wear them. And this we sold yesterday. This was a little bit of a pain in the butt to ship because it is a large suitcase. This thing was huge. Uh, but it's a Ralph Lauren Series 1000 is what I got from it. It's monogrammed all over it. That would have been probably something to put in the title. I didn't do it. But you can see right here. We picked this up at a... I don't remember when. We picked this up in November. We picked this up in a smaller bag that was new with tags. My wife has actually kept the smaller bag. She actually... It was weird because she took it out of our inventory, the smaller bag, yesterday. And within 15 minutes, this one, this bag sold. We got an offer of 200 bucks on it, and I took it. And uh, this was used once, if, uh, if that. Had some very minor wear. It had all these extra bags on the inside and everything like that. We paid about $30 for this, $27, $30. It was half off of. We had a half off coupon when our Goodwill used to do these half off things. And we got this intentionally for my wife. She wanted a new suitcase. But this suitcase is kind of heavy. And it's a bigger suitcase. Let me see. It's 29 by 21 by 11. And uh, that shipped FedEx. And what we usually do for FedEx shipments is I'll. 
do probably about a 250 a pound. So this weighed around 20 pounds. So I did, I think I charged 50 bucks and I came within 20 cents and it went to Ohio. The thing was, if it would have went out west, it would have been a lot more money, believe it or not. So the good thing it stayed closer by. You see that chat. Uh, we got John Belushi in the chat today from the grave. How you doing, brother? Hope all is well. Actually, you're not bur buried that far from me. You're buried on uh, Martin Vineyard, if I remember correctly. Uh, we're going there in a week or two. No, two weeks. I forgot exactly. Yes, it is actually nice today. I actually just dropped off that FedEx package. I've been sick, and I was actually outside in... Uh, my t-shirt and shorts and my wife is probably going to beat my ass. Uh, yeah, the stains kind of make the shirt because it kind of just get, adds character to the shirt. Um, yeah, sizing, sizing was definitely different 35 years ago. That is definitely for sure. Um, hey, Ronnie, we met at the Google and Frank uh, Fredericksburg when you were on your way to Florida. How are you doing, Mark? I remember. I hope you do well. That was a very nice, clean store and actually a very chill, actually, Goodwill outlet or bins, as they would like to call it. I didn't find much all. <laughs> there was some good stuff in that cage thing there, but it kind of felt weird going in there because it kind of locked you in there. You have to ask for the key, and then you have to get locked in there. Uh, anybody find any? I mean, anybody sell anything good this week? Like, just type it in the chat. I want to see some what some of you guys are uh, buying and selling. What's up, Bearded Picker? Anybody really have any good, good, good sales? What a common pair of blue jeans to flip for Goodwill for a new person branching out. For the buy price is six ninety nine. Higher end jeans do well, but I don't come across them very well. I don't pick up a huge amount of jeans, but I will pick up some Ralph Lauren jeans. Um, depends on the size of jeans too. Some some people have luck with lucky jeans. I do not have luck with lucky jeans. Six ninety nine is kind of. I don't like paying nearly that much for jeans. Maybe half off day and try to pick up some jeans. But uh, I know a lot of people have had luck with jeans. I don't have all the greatest luck with jeans. Well, isn't prof sales getting out of jeans, actually? I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. But uh, Mark, you sold a Def Leppard 80s t-shirt for 70 bucks. You got it for a buck. That sounds great. Tom Browning shirt, home run. Very nice. I've only found that brand actually one time in a pair of seersucker pants, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you leave Prevon newer Levi's, correct? I don't really pick up Levi's really that much at all. I've picked up a few in the past. I get their newer tags because they're just easy sales. But there is a lot of people on eBay selling Levi's jeans in general. You know, it's kind of like the Ralph Lauren of shirts. It's just like there's a lot out there. I don't really pick it up too much. Just because our Goodwill, I think it's six fifty or $7 for a pair of pants, a pair of jeans. And most of the smaller thrift stores around us are 6 bucks. Savers are $10. So there's a lot of jeans I don't really pick up in that price range at all. That makes sense. Sold a clear blue fertilizer tester for thirty-five paid a dollar. You gotta love those returns when you buy something for a dollar, and even if it sells for thirty, forty dollars, it's nice. Louis, she had like a hundred of those. Lauren said, "Really hoping she doesn't get a winter storm." That kind of sucks. I don't think we'll get. I'm hoping yard sales. I'm hoping. I think it's gonna be like sixty degrees this weekend. 
like I am like really psyched to possibly uh sniff a yard sale this weekend. Like let's check out the weather. My wife always bust my balls because I never check the weather on anything. I never know what's going on weather wise. It's telling me it's forty eight today, high of fifty two right now. But we don't want to know about today. Tomorrow is 61, and then Saturday, 54, and 20% chance of rain. Hmm. Sunday, 43. What happened there? What is that rainy weekend? It's rain on Sunday and rain on Monday. <sighs> Hope you guys are getting your taxes done. I fired an extension last month, but I still think I'm going to have them in on time. Didn't probably need to do that. United States Postal Service lost a pair of Big E Levi. I shipped it to the buyer, lost 150. PayPal sided with the buyer. Unfortunately, that's what happens, unfortunately, if the package is lost with... Um, is lost. I mean, you do have insurance. I mean, if it's even if it's just priority mail, it's fifty dollars insurance. They should be able to give you at least fifty dollars. It might not be, you know, the hundred and fifty, but at least you'd get something back. You'd probably get back your course of goods plus a little bit extra. So you wouldn't lose money, but you just wouldn't be making as much as you wanted to. You might want to check into that. But every once in a while, the United States Postal Service does lose things. I don't know how that happens. I once had a sign that got lost with United States Postal Service. No, uh, yeah, UPS lost a sign of mine. This is going back like probably seven years ago now, eight years ago. Created up a sign, and this thing was huge. This was a, either a five or six foot sign, don't remember. We shipped the sign and it stayed in one location for a very long time. It was in the, it was went to Texas and it was in the location at, um, at the like distribute at the center for a while. And it wasn't, it was like, oh, out for delivery. And it, it wouldn't go on. And I called and they're like, oh, it didn't go on the truck. Didn't go on the truck. And then all of a sudden it just, they said they couldn't find it. How do you miss a five foot sign? Someone swiped that thing. Someone put that in the back of their truck, and that was done. Someone delivered that to their house. And it took me over a year. I was actually in the Dominican Republic fighting them to give me a refund. They actually sent a check when I was away, and my parents got the check. But it was crazy. And then there was also um, another time we shipped off a sign. I forgot how big it was. This is back also around that time and they actually put a forklift put the uh they actually put the teeth of the forklift right through the um through the plywood i'm like how does that happen like and they were refusing to fight that one for a long time too now i don't ship anything ups terrible 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 but uh all right, boys and girls, time to get off here. I'm not going to sit here and ramble all damn day long. But uh hope you guys all have a good week. Have a good weekend. Get out there and get it. Find some good stuff. But uh if you're seeing this later, type down in the comments after the show what was your best sale last week. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Make sure subscribe. Hit that notification button. Have a good day. Good weekend. Bye.